Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I want to go over Apple's release of the first beta of iOS 11.2 for developers. So this just launched today at about 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 10 Pacific Daylight Time. So what's new? Uh, honestly, there's not a whole lot new. Uh, there's no Apple Pay with iMessage and there's no iMessages uh, in the cloud. So uh, keep that in mind when you're updating to this, they could put it out in another iteration, but for now it's not in there. But however, what did iOS 11.2 beta bring for anyone? Honestly, it brought a lot of bug fixes. This file was about two gigs on most people's phones and it just kind of cleaned up some of the bugs that iOS 11.1 brought out. So, but you may be thinking to yourself, hold on, how is iOS 11.2 beta out for developers when iOS 11.1 is not even out for the public? That's a decent question. Uh, it's not unheard of for Apple to do this. However, we can expect iOS 11.1 public to drop either tomorrow or Thursday. Now, Apple has been, you know, kind of crazy lately with the release schedules. So don't quote me on that. I know I had other videos stating it would be last week uh, or early this week. Again, early this week could be tomorrow. I consider that early in the week, uh, but you can take that how you will. Again, iOS 11.1 public, expect that probably tomorrow or Thursday. Um, but other than that, guys, uh, if you are a developer and you want to hop on the beta train here and get iOS 11.2, go for it. The only thing I would caution you guys about is that iOS 11.2 uh, don't get it if you are getting the iPhone 10 this Friday. The reason I say that is because if you do, you will not be able to restore from a backup on the iPhone 10 when you get it. So if you restore from a backup and or you're getting the iPhone 10 on Friday, think twice before doing this or else it will be kind of a headache for you come Friday. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and of course you guys can do whatever you want, but uh, yeah, that's that. So that's all I got for this video, guys. If you like staying informed with all of this Apple news and stuff, definitely hit this video with a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.